Oh, okay, friends. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Bante. Yes. Yes, Bante. Okay, good. Good. Now we start our recital of uh, Dhammapada uh, and listen to it very carefully. I play this at least three times. O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhaj Nivaraye Satanghi So Piyo Hoti Asatang Hoti Apmpiyo Okay, again. O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhaj Nivaraye Satanghi So Piyo Hoti Asatang Hoti Apmpiyo Again. O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhaj Nivaraye Satanghi So Piyo Hoti Asatang Hoti Apmpiyo Okay, good. Now, let me recite it for you, uh, line by line, and repeat after me. <clears> Ovadeya <throat> nusaseya Ovadeya nusaseya Asabhacha nivarere Again. Asabhacha-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivareya-nivare
may play again this. O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhach Nivaraye Satang Hiso Piyohoti Asasang Hoti Apmpiyo Okay, now see the meaning word by word. Over the year, one should advise. One should advise. Anusaseya instruct. Asabha, whatever is wild, bad, not polite, cha also. Nivareya, forbid or prevent, obstruct. Satang, to the good, so, so is, I forgot to put, so is here on the stanza. Such a person, so is he, the one who advise and instruct, is uh, Pio, dear. Pio means priya. Hoti is asatam to the bad. Apio, not dear. When you advise someone and instruct the and uh, try to prevent a person who's committing wrong things, try to nivaraya, forbid. Such a person, a good person likes him. The good person likes him. Bad person does not like him. You remember the last week we said, Nidhi Dhamma Pavatara Yampa Sevaj Dasana Niya Gaya Vadi Medavi Tadi Sampaja Panditam Bhaja Tadi Sampaja Vana Sashi Yodhina Pabhya. He said that. That means one who shows a point, points out a mistake, uh, should be treated as one who shows a great treasure in you. Okay? Now, this is the opposite of it, and a part of it is opposite. No. Even when one advises, instruct, and try to prevent such a from wrong things, such a person is, uh, is, is such a, uh, a good person likes such a person. Bad person does not like. One should advise and instruct and forbid whatever is while for, for he is dear to the good, but he is not dear to the bad. Now, there are two words here, advise and instruct. What is the difference between these two? <coughs> Advice mm -hmm. and, and uh, instruct. Advice means when somebody does something wrong, then a good person or wise person or his uh, senior superior mm -hmm. person uh, advise him. Nice. Advise him, don't do this. This is harmful. This will be painful, you will be, you will get into trouble, you will be caught by the police, you will be arrested, and you will be put in jail, and so forth. The advice, you see, advice. Instruction, instruct means? Someone who 
tells somebody to prevent him from doing wrong things in future. In future. <clears throat> Advice is given for something that has been done before. Instruction gives something that one want to prevent. Advice. And so these are the difference between these two words. Now let us see the story. <coughs> In the <coughs> Buddha's time, there were two very notorious monks. Actually, there were six of them. And they decided that if they stay together, uh, they won't get uh, a lot of uh, food, clothes, shelter, money, all these things they don't get. If they, if they get it, they have to share all this. And therefore they decided to divide into three, two in each group. And these two monks, Asaji and Punabhasuka, they went to a place called Kitagiri. Kitagiri. Uh, with with uh, these two monks, uh, are disciples of Venerable Sariputta and Moggallana. So they are disciples of very, very great monks uh, to chief disciples of the Buddha. But uh, they are also very proud of their caste because they came from a Brahmin family. They are very proud. Brahmins are very proud. Uh, and but they are shameless. Always they commit all kind of yeah. wrong things, unethical, immoral things. And then they gathered <coughs> more monks of this kind, you know, and then they lived in this place called Kitagiri. And then they start doing things that Buddha asked monks not to do. They started doing all the things that monks not to do. They plant trees and uh, fertilize them. And then uh, they pick flowers. Uh, then uh, they make garlands and they sell them and then they are, they give them to women uh, and eat them eat with them eat with these women uh, sometimes in the, from the same plate and also they start they were sleeping with these women they were hugging and kissing and then they, they, they began to drink alcohol and then uh, they have dancing, singing, go to musical shows, uh, similar things they have been doing. All sort of things that Buddha forbid, forbidden the monks to do. And therefore, the decent monks uh, did not like them, uh, they tried to advise. Uh, those, that, that kind of monks you can find even today. They get into all kind of practices. They uh, read uh, horoscopes, uh, they make uh, talismans, uh, they buy large properties and they wanted to uh, share their uh, monastic property 
just like their own, they sell and buy, get into all kind of business, they buy lottery tickets and so forth. Uh, the, most of the uh, pious, religious people are very, very upset. And uh, decent monks uh, feel um, embarrassed to associate with them. They stay away from them and try to uh, hide from them. They don't come to the society. These corrupted ones are well known, very famous, because they do anything without any shame. So when um, Buddha heard all these things, Buddha said to uh, uh, Venerable uh, Sariputta, uh, Sariputta, your uh, disciples misbehave, go and advise them. And if they don't listen, ask them to leave the monastery. Uh, that is one of the rules. You advise them, if they don't accept, ask them to leave the monastery. And uh, these monks uh, did not like their own teacher, Venerable Sariputta. Then Buddha asked them to go and, Venerable Sariputta, to go and uh, advise them and instruct them. Advise them not to do what they had been doing and instructed them not to do things like this in future. Now, to prevent all these things. So, we have to understand the very uh, profound uh, teaching of the Buddha. Uh, and therefore, Buddha wanted to keep, keep this uh, uh, dispensation, Sangha community, clean by dispelling this uh, notorious uh, man. Asabha, asabha, asabha in uh, singly, we say asabhya, that is the things that the society don't accept. They know what the words, bad behavior, society doesn't accept. And therefore, they are called asabha. They are harmful to the society. And then satang, the satpurusha, purusha means noble person. Noble person. And then, when wise people, when they hear such advice, will accept them, correct them, amend them, and then proceed with the Dharma practice. They don't have to go to, go to jail, uh, correction of uh, what you call correction centers. Um, they, they stay in the monastery in the society and uh, make their life peaceful and happy. Uh, ones who are uh, pleasing, uh, who, who are good, this kind of advice is very good to them, they are pleased. Those who are not, uh, those who don't have good intention, they simply become uh, monastic, nuns, monks, just to make their living, to easy livelihood. And Buddha did not want them to do that. And that, therefore, Buddha advised them to Venerable Sariputta and Ogallana, especially Sariputta. Sariputta is a very good uh, Kalyana Mitta, noble friend, to all the monks, wise monk, very compassionate monk, monk who uh, 
show his gratitude uh, and so forth. So he uh, had this death and it was a disgrace even to him the way they behaved. And therefore Buddha said, this is the story, this is the uh, stanza. Now I once again, uh, I like you to listen to this stanza and then I recite it once again. Then you try to memorize it. Memorize the pronunciation and the meaning. Then the story behind it. Okay. Let me play the O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhaj Nivaraye Satanghi So Piyohoti Asatanghoti Apmpiyo Okay. Let me recite it for you, line by line, and then repeat after me. And then I recite it two line by two lines, and you repeat after me. Then I uh, play this monk's uh, chanting, so that after that, you, I ask you to recite. Over the Yanusa say, Over the Yanusa say, Asabhacha Nivaraye, Asabhacha Nivaraye, Satang Hisopi Hoti, Satang Hisopi Hoti. Asatang hoti apiyo. Asatang hoti apiyo. Two line by two line. Ovadei anusaseya asabhacha nivaraye. Ovadei anusaseya asabhacha nivaraye. Satang hisopi hoti, asatang hoti apiyo. Satang hisopi hoti, asatang hoti apiyo. Now listen to this monk's recital. O adeyanu saseya. Asabhaj Nivaraye Satang Iso Piyo Hoti Asatang Hoti Apmpiyo Now I like Philip to recite it. Over the yeah, I'm sorry. Did you say Philip Bante? Philip. Yes, that's me, I guess. Over the Anusa say a sabbacha vicharaye Satan he so piyohoti. Asatam hoti appiyo. Okay. Tiyani, Dayani. Avadeya anusaseya asabacha nivaraye Satang he so piyo hoti asatang hoti apiyo. Very good. Inoka. Ovadeya anasaseya asabacha nivaraye 
satam hi so piyo hoti asatam hoti apiyo good satima O adeya anusa seya asabacha nivare satang hi so piyo hoti asatang hoti apiyo Good, good. Anoma. O adeya anusa seya Asabata nivare Satang hiso pio hoti Asatang hoti apio. Good. Bien. Nama dihin bante. Uh, yes, your name. Over there, Anusa say, Asabata nivare. Satam he so pio hoti, asatam hoti apio. Good. Uh, what is it? Kalina? Ova deya anusa seya, asabata nivaraya. Satam he so pio hoti, asatam hoti apio. Very good. Chandima. <coughs> Ova deya anusa seya asabacha nivare. Satam hi so pio hoti asatam hoti apio. Good. Athena. Ova deya anusa seya. Asabacha nivaraye Satam hi so piu hoti Asatam hoti apio. Good, Anila. Anila. Over there, yeah. And it's a say, Asabacha nivare. Satam hi so piyo hoti, asam hoti apapiyo. Okay, Anaya. <coughs> Ova deya anusadeya, asapacha nivarati, satam hi so piyo hoti, asatam hoti apapiyo. Apapiyo, good. Then Anaya, then uh, Hiro Yuki. O Adeya Anusa Seya Asabacha Niwara Ye Satan Hiso Pio Hoti Asatan Hoti Apio. Oh, good. Good. Now all of you recited today. And uh, just remember the stanza. I play it once again uh, and then we uh, stop the class and then you. Do meditation. Let me decide. Let me play this again for you to hear. O Adeyanu Saseya Asabhaj Nivaraye Satang Hiso Piyohoti Asatang hoti apmpiyo. Okay, good. Now, let us uh, uh, meditate. I hope you all recited. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah.
Can you see the screen? Yeah. Oh, Bante. Now you can see it, right? Not yet. Now we, the now we can see. Okay. 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 You can see see the screen on Meta Living Friendliness. Yes, Bante. Okay. <clears throat> you know this by heart, I hope by now. Anyway, let me recite it for you. It takes less than two minutes and then we spend uh, uh, some time in meditation. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As the mother who risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, <laughs> one should cultivate the boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or whenever way, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision. Removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. Now, friends, <clears throat> let us sit up in meditation posture. Close your eyes and pay total attention to, attention to your breath and breathe deeply and then breathe out deeply until all the air in your lungs is gone. In the next breath, you can have uh, her lung expanded to its fullest capacity. And then when you breathe in, you get a lot of oxygen that charge your red blood cells. They go to heart, heart pumps, and these red blood cells go through all over our body, recharging all the cells that have already been depleted of oxygen. And this process is going on all the time. Make sure that you breathe deeply. When you breathe deeply, you can have a lot of oxygen. 
and also at the same time your pressure goes down. Also at the same time you experience feeling, perception, thought and consciousness, all of them are constantly changing as you breathe in and out. That would give you deeper insight into your body. And the mind will not have a chance to wander here and there, and mind remains calm. When the body and mind are calm, you have a very peaceful experience. That would be helpful to you, and I wish you all Good luck and continue your practice.
By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time and attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be from the highest realm of existence to the lowest. May all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, friends, now we end this session today, and I hope you continue your practice. And let me do my, uh, the, uh, what do you call meditation, wish. May all those who are in hospitals suffering from various diseases return to their regular ordinary life, recover from their sickness, and practice Dhamma meditation and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May all the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff who are supporting them, taking care of them, may they also find time to practice Dhamma, practice meditation, and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. All those who are in trouble, for war on discrimination, and so forth, may they all find Peace and time to practice meditation and attain liberation. All those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southeastern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, up and down. All these beings in this ten direction be well, happy, and peaceful. May they all attain liberation. May you all attain liberation, and I see you again next week. Okay? Thank you very much. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you. 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 Thank